We are the Traveling Three. As an adventure-loving family of three, we've stepped away from the familiar cadence of daily life to travel the world and embrace the unknown. Get ready for an adventure of epic proportions. From the stunning Dachstein Caves. There's the ice. So much of it. To the very edge of majestic cliffs. My palms are sweating, Steve. I don't want to look down. <laughs> Takes your breath away a little bit because uh, that's a 1,300 foot drop. Taking leisurely strolls through storybook village streets. And even venturing through a 7,000 year old mine. This is the old part yeah. that's made with the, the wood. Wow. It's crazy. Well, that was definitely not how we expected to end the day. <laughs> These sights will leave you breathless, so come along for the ride. Good morning, everybody. We are up bright and early today, and we are getting ready to take a train to somewhere very special. Come on the journey with us, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. We hopped on a train to Vienna and took a three and a half hour first class ride to the Dachstein Krippenstein Mountains. You can easily plan your trip in this convenient app. The app also tells you exactly where each transfer station is and even how long it takes to walk in between stations. Trains are very clean with comfortable seating, nice expandable tables, and even free Wi Fi and charging ports. This is a very special trip for us because it's our first solo trip since we've been on the road since, I think, March. Mm -hmm. It's the first time being childless, and so far it has been very enjoyable. Yes, very it has. Very peaceful and quiet. I don't know if you were able to tell from the brief train footage where we are, but we have arrived in Obertron, which is a very small village right across the lake from Hallstatt. We stayed at a lovely little hotel tucked away between mountains on the quiet shores of Hallstatt Sea. We used Booking.com to find this place and we're very happy with our stay. One thing to note is that this hotel doesn't have an elevator, so you have to carry your luggage up the short flight of stairs. We had one backpack, so this was not an issue for us. Our room was small, clean, and perfect for our two night stay. And the best part was the view. This place is absolutely gorgeous, surrounded by big, beautiful mountains. And the village of Obertron is literally the quietest place that we have been <laughs> since we've been on the road. It is so peaceful here. There's nobody out and about. We're trying to find somewhere to eat and nothing is open. <laughs> it's Wednesday, it's not even a weekend, and apparently people are on their lunch break. Uh, we tried to go to a grocery store to grab some snacks. That is closed from 12 to 1.30. Now we're making our way to the gondola, which will take us up the mountain to the ice caves here. 127 euros for two adults. This price includes all gondola rides and access to the ice cave and mammoth cave. We made it up the gondola that goes up the Dashtein Krippenstein Mountain Resort. This place is absolutely stunning. It's one of Austria's big and beautiful mastiff type mountain ranges. This is also a popular ski resort in the winter time. Going up the gondola was an interesting experience. <laughs> It was stuffed full of people. There were some interesting smells. Anyway, we stopped by the lodge up here and had some food. We had breakfast at 1.30, so we didn't film any of it because we were dying of hunger and just devoured everything. And now we are making our way to the first cave. There are two caves here. There is an ice cave here, and there's also the giant mammoth cave. It's a karst-type cave, and that's the first one we're gonna go see. In order to go into either of these caves, you do have to go with a tour. And the reason for that is so that people don't trash the place and they're able to keep the place clean and well-maintained. Tours take place every 45 to 60 minutes and you can book your tour at the information kiosk once you get off the gondola. That cave was absolutely amazing. It was huge. Apparently it's 70 kilometers long and goes all the way through the mountain from the top of the gondola all the way down to the bottom. We only explored about seven or 800 meters of the cave. It was very beautiful and freezing cold. Actually, it's technically above freezing. She said it was about three degrees Celsius in there. If you come to explore any of these caves, make sure that you bring winter wear, bring a hat, a jacket, long pants, and shoes. There were some people that were not wearing winter wear. They were wearing summer clothes for the 35 degree weather out here and I'm pretty sure they suffered for it. <laughs> the tour is also about 30 minutes long, so you'll be cold for a little while. The way to the ice cave is very steep, by the way. I have no idea what the elevation gain here is, but it's very steep with switchbacks the entire way. 
At least it's all paved. It's so steep that they have benches along the way for people to sit down and take a break. <laughs> Steve is not dying as much as I am. <laughs> the reason I had a tough time with the climb is because I chose to do an intense leg workout two days before our trip, which was a mistake. For a more enjoyable experience, don't do what I did. So we just arrived up here at the entrance of the ice cave. It looks similar to the mammoth caves. You can see it right back there. Let's go in. We're in the ice cave now, and it is really impressive. We haven't gotten to the ice part yet. He said it's three degrees here, and it's going to get colder and colder with each step. And he also said we're going to be here for 50 minutes in a <laughs> fridge. Oh, I don't think I brought a thick enough jacket. <laughs> After 35 degree weather. <laughs> Bring a thick coat if you come here and you're a cold person. <laughs> This theatrical bear presentation is here because the giant ice cave was home to prehistoric bears. The fake bear was super cheesy, but the real bear skeleton bear. is pretty amazing. So over there, you can see the size of what a grizzly bear is and what the prehistoric bear would be like compared to it. There's the ice, so much of it. That's crazy. He was not joking about the steep stairs. Oh my goodness. It's cold in here, but at least there are a million stairs to keep your heart pumping. And it keeps you warm and out of breath. Oh my gosh, that is crazy, a frozen lake. There are some surprises in this cave that we didn't show in this video because we don't want to spoil it for those of you planning to visit. That cave was incredible. It did not even feel like we spent 50 minutes in there. And after a few minutes, I didn't even notice the cold anymore just because of how spectacular it was. It was absolutely massive. It's something you just have to come here and see in real life because the camera just does not capture the vastness of that cave. So if you find yourself in Vienna, we strongly recommend that you take a couple hour train ride, come up to Hallstatt, and check out the beauty in this area. We just took the second gondola up to the top of the mountain and man, the views are incredible here. The Austrian Alps with the glaciers, absolutely beautiful. And now we're on our way to the Five Finger Lookout. This is very, I, my palms are sweating, Steve. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna drop my phone through these cracks, I don't wanna look down. <laughs> oh, it's glass, it's glass. They have glass on the bottom. Oh my gosh, and you can like lean. Oh, that is high up. Oh my gosh, that, oh, that is high up. If it wasn't for this video, I would not. Well, actually I probably would. All right, we are staying right down there. Extremely beautiful view. I highly recommend that if you come up here, don't just do the ice cave, but come all the way up to the top. It is a breathtaking view from up here. And lean over the side. It takes your breath away a little bit because uh, that's a 1,300 foot drop, but lean over the side. It's worth it. This region features a unique karst landscape with limestone formations, sinkholes, and underground rivers, which you can read about on informational posts along the path. The Dachstein Krippenstein mountain range is famous year long, and in the wintertime, it boasts the longest ski run in Austria, stretching 11 kilometers from the summit to the valley. You could spend all day here. We got here, I think, around one o'clock, but if you're here already, or if you're staying in Hallstatt, come here early in the morning so you can spend the whole day exploring this place. There are so many hiking trails everywhere. So many hiking trails that you can do. 
Epic, breathtaking viewpoints everywhere. Now we're heading back down the mountain. We're going to try to find a restaurant. Please wish us luck because we are starving. The restaurant up here is closed and uh, the grocery store down in town has closed at 6 p.m. and it is, I think, 6 p.m. now. So hopefully we can eat tonight. <laughs> Well, thankfully we were successful. We found a restaurant that's actually open until 10 p.m. It's right on the lake. We're super excited to eat here. Also, fun story, we actually hitchhiked from the mountain back down. <laughs> the bus schedule ended at, what was it? 5, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. and it was seven when we got down. And so there was several of us standing around trying to figure out what to do. And so I went and stood by the road and stuck out my thumb. And immediately a guy pulled up and we got in the car and he took us straight back to where we're staying. Also, it turns out he is the head chef of yeah. the restaurant that we ate at at the lodge. And it was good food. And he was a great, super nice guy. Yeah. So thanks if you happen to watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> The next morning, we hopped on a ferry from Obertron to Hallstatt. The ferry leaves Obertron starting at 9.25 a.m. and departs every two hours until 4.40 p.m. The ferry from Hallstatt to Obertron departs at 9.10 a.m. and leaves every two hours until 5.10 p.m. While you're on the ferry, you can pair the incredible views with some fascinating historical facts about Hallstatt and the surrounding region via the overhead speakers. We learned that Hallstatt is the oldest still-inhabited village in Europe. It's famous for its salt mines that date back to 5,000 b.c., making them about 7,000 years old. The Hallstatt salt Salt mines played a significant role in European history, so much so that an entire historical period is named the Hallstatt period. The impressive, truly serene landscape combined with the fascinating history made this ferry ride one of the most scenic and interesting rides we've been on. Good morning, everyone. Today we are exploring one of the oldest villages in the world, and it also happens to be extremely picturesque absolutely stunning and super peaceful. This morning we got up early and took the ferry over to Hallstatt and now we are strolling along the waterfront in search of breakfast and a good coffee. For breakfast we decided to stop by a little pastry shop and we got four different types of pastries and so we're going to eat these and then explore the rest of the town. These pastries were fresh, like just came out of the oven and it smelled so good while we were waiting in line. I think my mouth was literally watering <laughs> while we were waiting. I'm so excited to try this. That is so good. The outside of it, something a little bit crispy, and the inside of it is kind of like a custard. They called it an egg tart. It's very faintly sweet with some cinnamon, a little bit of fruit. It's so good. Mm. A little bit of pretzels should be. Salty, crispy, soft on the inside. Mm. Before we came to Hallstatt, I was kind of wondering if it's worth the hype. And now that we're here, I can definitely say it is absolutely worth the hype. There's some places that you just can't capture on camera and Hallstatt is one of those. With the beautiful mountains, the crystal clear lake, and the history around here, along with that perfect picturesque city, you have to experience it. The camera can't show you just how majestic this place really is. As we've been walking around the town, we've noticed that a lot of places don't take cards, so make sure that if you come here, you have cash. Um, they do have ATMs all over the place, so it's easy to get cash if you need to. The other thing we noticed while we were walking around trying to find breakfast is that most restaurants and food places don't open until 11.30. There are a lot of cafes that are open, but they're only open for drinks and pastries. So just keep that in mind if you're a breakfast person. We've stopped at a restaurant right on the lake for lunch and the meals are enormous. We did not expect it to be this big. <laughs> We're headed up to the salt mine now. It's 40 euros a person for the salt mine and the ride up and back down. Plus there's a viewpoint of all house that at the top. It's a 7,000 years old and has Europe's oldest wooden staircase. And also it has the world's oldest pipeline running from the mine out to a processing center at the end of the lake. I'm pretty excited to see this. We just got off the funicular 
and they have no open windows in there. It's all glass and it's all in the direct sunlight. It was like a sauna, but anyway. It, it was extremely beautiful though. Very, very beautiful. fun. And you could feel your ears popping as it's getting higher and higher. Now we're gonna make our way up to the salt mine. This time we did not come prepared with winter clothes or even a jacket. So hopefully it won't be as cold as the other mines. <laughs> I don't think I ever disliked the heat as much as I do now that I'm old. I am enjoying it. Oh my goodness. Looks. Do I look stylish? <laughs> in the oldest salt mines in the world. My name is Sarah. As it turns out, it is as cold as the other mines, but we get these fancy outfits, so I think we should be good. This is the old part yeah. that's made with the, the wood. Wow, that's crazy. You can see the salt on it. <laughs> the area of the salt mine that is open for tours is no longer used for active mining, so they've added some fun perks for visitors to experience. Oh, okay. oh there we go. This is awesome. <laughs> ah! Oh, took a picture soon as has making a face. <laughs> The slides were a lot of fun. They look really tall, but because of the clothes they give you, they kind of break you a little bit, so you can't go too fast, but still a lot of fun. And at the bottom of the big slide, there's this giant underground salt lake. So far, this tour has been unexpectedly good, I would say. Very, very fascinating. They do a really great job of guiding you through the mine, showing you about the history. All 7,000 years of it is pretty mind-boggling. Very beautiful, very fun. Highly recommend doing this tour. In the name of cheesy things that you do on a tour, we are riding a little tiny train out of the salt mine. But I have to say, this tour is fun. We're not a big fan of tours, but this one was quite educational, very fun, and to see a 3,300 year old wooden staircase, the oldest one probably in Europe or maybe even the world, that's definitely worth it. So I was just making fun of riding a little tiny train as part of a tour, but I'm actually happy because we are going quite fast and it's taking a long time to get out of here. I definitely wouldn't want to walk this. Visiting the salt mine was a very interesting and unique experience. Everything was presented in an interesting and educational, but also entertaining way. We felt that the tour definitely was worth it yeah. and we don't usually say that about tours but this one it was good we're at the top of the funicular on the bridge to the restaurant and we could see right where we're staying and it's right there in Obatron We went up to the skywalk and there was a huge lineup to get to the tippy point where you can take nice pictures and get great footage, but we didn't feel like waiting however long to take a picture, so we left that. And honestly, you can get really great footage and great pictures from pretty much anywhere on this mountain because there are epic viewpoints all over the place. Now, instead of taking the funicular down, we are walking down the walking path. And I heard that as you walk down the walking path, there's some waterfalls and some great views all the way down. So we're looking forward to that. And plus the funicular to get down had a giant line. So we'll probably get down just as quick. Definitely worth taking the time to walk down the path, although it is very steep, but the views are quite amazing. You get to see directly down onto the city as well as epic views of the lake and of Opatron. Look at that, they built a walkway right in front of the waterfall. So yeah, you can see waterfalls as you're coming down. But look at that waterfall, gorgeous. All right, we're gonna go trail jogging now because the clouds are getting really big and thick and dark. And I've already felt a few raindrops. Apparently there is supposed to be a thunder and lightning storm. So hopefully we don't get caught outside in it and get drenched. Come on, Steve. Oh, it is raining. You can hear the raindrops. Yes. 
well, we didn't make it. It's raining pretty hard now. I think once we get out of the trees, we're probably gonna get drenched. <laughs> Worth it. Yes. Should we wait it out in the trees? I don't know how long it's gonna last. Dude, it's pouring. Maybe we should just run through it. Let's uh, just- What? The, wh wh run where? To the city. Yeah, but then you're gonna be on the street. We'll go into a cafe. Uh, I vote we wait because we're gonna be soaked to the bone within just a few seconds. Uh, okay. This help? Oh my word. Yeah, there's no uh, Look at this, you guys. Look at this. <laughs> I think we're just gonna be here for a little while. It was a shower-like downpour, so we had to switch to filming with the GoPro. And even so, it rained so hard that water kept getting in the camera mic, causing the sound to muffle. Almost there. We made it down into town. Now we're gonna stop for an authentic Austrian bakery. If you don't know, I am very much a sweets person, so we must stop there. Oh my gosh, it's starting again. We must stop there before we leave Hallstatt. Everyone's taking refuge in stores and shops. Oh my God. <laughs> there it is. We made it. Oh my God. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this was not how we envisioned getting to the bakery. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, that was definitely not how we expected to end the day. We knew there was going to be a thunder and lightning storm, but it was actually uh, forecasted to be at eight o'clock, not at before five o'clock. Um, so, but anyway, that's part of the fun of traveling and going on an adventure is sometimes stuff like this happens and it actually makes it more interesting. It does, yes. Is it good? It's not fresh. The other bakery was better. The other bakery was better. Yeah, mine's not fresh either. But, <laughs> not what I expected. <laughs> well, you guys, we really enjoyed exploring Hallstatt. We can now confidently say that this village is absolutely stunning rain or shine. The only regret we have while visiting Hallstatt was not staying an extra day or two. Yeah. We only stayed for two days and we felt that that was too short. We actually had only about a day and a half there and we managed to get all of the major attractions in. So you can do it in a day and a half. It was pretty rushed, but if you want to have a more relaxed time, I'd suggest two full days or even three full days would be better. We did enjoy staying in Obertron rather than Hallstatt. The only downside about Obertron is nothing opens until 11 a.m. So there's no breakfast areas or anything like that to take advantage of. So as long as you are prepared for that, Obertron is super chill, very beautiful. Doesn't have the amenities of Hallstatt, but you will save on some money. And we really enjoyed the peace and quiet there. We are super excited to keep traveling and our next stop is actually going to be my homeland, Romania. It's gonna be Steve's first time and Aliyah's first time exploring Romania and we'll be traveling along with some friends. So it's gonna be a really fun and unique experience for us and we're really excited to take you guys along.